Ohio House Bill 82 began simply as a revision. It would allow high school juniors to opt out of the annual state-funded ACT exam. The issue was that students who were not planning to attend college were blowing off a test they didn't even need to take. We have, we have a significant number of students. Um, you know, I think it's better than 50% that, that don't go to college. Plus, hundreds of universities no longer require the ACT for admission, including Ohio University. But most notably, students' apathy towards standardized tests has a direct impact on annual school performance reports, a rating which in turn affects economic development and homeownership. For those reasons, the bill passed unanimously through the Ohio House earlier this month. But when it was introduced on the Senate floor, the bill was amended to address another long-held concern of school administrators, an ambitious reform of those aforementioned district report cards. One of the issues uh, about the report card is that the current one isn't fair. It does not demonstrate or show uh, progress that's being made in the schools, and especially schools where you've got a lot of economically disadvantaged uh, students. According to Brenner, it's a reform that's been in bipartisan discussion for more than two years. The amendment was pulled from legislation that's long been dormant. Meanwhile, bill sponsors were working with teachers unions, administrative organizations, and schools from across the state to improve a complicated evaluation system. But why now, and why add it to this bill? We, we came to this agreement realizing that we wanted a new report card ready for the next school year. Uh, and that's why we spent, you know, countless hours on the phone, in meetings, working on this over the last several weeks. Brenner believed that attaching the provisions of past legislation to a bill that had lots of bipartisan momentum would help complete the process as quickly as possible. Uh, I think people know that there was plenty of, of public process and a lot of process for the various uh, school organizations to come in and testify. And one of those testimonies was submitted locally from Fort Fry High School. Superintendent Stephanie Starcher opposed the previous legislation, but says many of her concerns have since been addressed and that the amendment is a step in the right direction. I know that Representative Jones and Senator Brenner both are genuinely interested in improving the report card system and have worked really hard and listened to educators about this. Hanning is among the majority of superintendents who have long complained that the system fails to compensate for districts with limited resources, reduces students to a single standardized test score, and does not credit schools for improving on past shortcomings, all the while being too difficult to understand. They have a 40-page document that tells you how to read the report card. So if you've got to sit down with a 40-page document, in order to get anything out of this, I think it is a waste of, it's a waste of taxpayer dollars. Hanning also spoke extensively on Southeast Ohio's challenge of supporting students who are struggling at home, those efforts unrecognized by the current report card. Kids come through the, the, the doors every morning with whatever they left home with. So whatever emotional baggage that they had, whatever trials and tribulations, and then we spend a lot of time trying to help those kids work through that just so that they're ready to learn. With this new legislation, the report card system will undergo a complete overhaul. Now, district evaluations will account for available resources and highlight district growth over time with trend graphics. Plus, each of the report's six components have been adjusted to reward student growth and school effort rather than academic output. It's definitely an improvement over the current report card system. You know, I'm going to take what we can get at this point, and I just hope that um, we will have legislation that says the report card system is required to be reviewed every so many years. Although Superintendent Hanning is optimistic for a more inclusive report card ahead, he believes the state has a long way to go before district evaluations can truly be fair. It's difficult to put a statewide grade card uh, in place when we haven't yet addressed all the inadequacies and inequities between school districts. And until we do something to fix that, the grade card's not going to be a fair reflection. For Newswatch, I'm Dylan Tyson.